Hey everyone! Today, we'll be taking a look at the MiG-31BM Foxhound, which is currently the newest strike fighter in the game, and it is one of the items in the VIP pass for this month's battle pass. Here are the Foxhound's fully upgraded stats. It has good durability, it is greater than that of F-90, but less than that of Su-37. Its speed is pretty great, as it's slightly faster than the F-90, but less maneuverable. Finally, it has the standard radar range of 8 kilometers, and the standard aviation reserve of 12 pieces. These are the weapons that Foxhound is equipped with. The GSH-23M machine gun is the same machine gun found in the Su-37 Terminator that has infinite ammunition, with a clip size of 15, and each projectile in the clip can score 450 damage points. The X-69 missile has an ammunition count of 2, with a clip size of 1, and it can score 16,000 damage points. The X-38 missile has an ammunition count of 3, with a clip size of 1, and it can score 7,500 damage points. The X-23 missile has an ammunition count of 3, with a clip size of 2, and each missile in the clip can score 3,000 damage points. The Hermes A missile has an ammunition count of 2, with a clip size of 4, and each missile in the clip can score 4,000 damage points. The fighter has quite a lot of weapons, and they're mostly missiles, which is great compared to having bombs, as you don't have to engage targets without having to expose the aircraft to hostile air defenses in order to deal damage. However, one of its missiles, which is the X-23, has a range that may overlap with the effective range of certain air defense systems. So you may still have to fight within the range of enemy air defenses with this aircraft. Furthermore, the missiles have a slow speed, increasing the likelihood of being intercepted or nullified by countermeasures. You do have the advantage of having a manually guided missile. You can use the Hermes A missile to bait your targets into using their missile countermeasure, clearing the path for the rest of the aircraft's missiles. This type of missile works well as a decoy than the auto-guided missile since it can still inflict damage even if the target uses countermeasures. Now, I'll be showing you guys the burst damage of this new strike fighter. Next, I'll be showing you guys the burst damage of the F-90 and A-14B for comparison. Here is a summary of the burst damage of the three strike fighters. 
Overall, the MiG-31 BM Foxhound is a pretty solid strike fighter. It has enough speed to quickly engage in escape battles, and delivers strong burst damage. However, it may not appeal to everyone due to its drawbacks, which can make it a bit challenging to use. Nonetheless, these challenges are not impossible to overcome. If your priorities include strike fighters that possess exceptional speed, the ability to inflict significant damage, and are equipped with manually guided missiles, the Foxhound might be the ideal choice for you. So what do you guys think about this new strike fighter? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Now that's all for today's video, hopefully you guys liked it, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me, thank you so much for watching.